We're going to have another story today called The Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch. Once upon a time, there was a lighthouse keeper called Mr. Grinlin, who lived in a cottage perched on the edge of a cliff. There's the cottage, and that's where he lived. And this is the cliff, and it's by the sea. Every day, Mr. Grinling went in his boat to work in the lighthouse, cleaning the lights and polishing the windows. <laughs> He's cleaning the windows. Cleaning, oh, that bit down there. Oh, and that bit in the middle. Oh, and then he cleaned the light as well with the squirt. Made it nice and clean. And this was the lighthouse. And he went every day, didn't he, in his boat, do his cleaning, and then he came back to the cottage at the end of the day. At home, Mrs. Grinling concocted delicious lunches and put them in picnic baskets, just like this. And then she sent them from the home, whoosh! down a wire to Mr. Grinling so that he could have his lunch. Yum, 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 yum. Have you have a look in the book? Mmm, what did she make? Oh, there she is, in the kitchen doing her cooking. And there's the basket going all the way down to the lighthouse. Mmm, what did she make? Oh, yummy! She made a mixed seafood salad, a lighthouse sandwich, a peach surprise, some iced biscuits, cold chicken supreme, sausages and chips, oh no, sausages and crisps, drinks and assorted fruit. Do you want to have a look? Mmm, yummy. What do you think you would like? I might like oh, peach surprise. What would you like? I'd like the sausage and crisps, please. Okay, sausage and crisps for you. Oh, where's the, there we are. Sausage and crisps for you. Thank you. What about you? Ice biscuits? Okay, ice biscuits for you. Mm, shall we eat our lunch? Yum, 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 yum. Oh, delicious. And she always put it in the special basket, didn't she? And she sent it down the wire. Mm. But one day, just when she pushed the basket down the wire, do you know what happened? <gasps> What's that noise? <coughs> the basket was going down the wire to the lighthouse when some naughty seagulls flew down into the basket, they're very clever, oh, and they ate all the lunch. Mm, that was yummy. Right away. Mm. You naughty seagulls, you've eaten all my lunch of Mr. Grinling. Hmm. He was not happy. So the next day, Mrs. Grinling had a plan. Hmm. What's she going to do? Let's have a look. Oh, here's the seagulls eating the lunch. And what did Mrs. Grinling do? She got a tea towel and she put it over the basket and tied it really tightly. Do you think that worked? No, it didn't. The seagulls got into the basket anyway, and they ate it all up. Mmm, scrumptious grub, they said. So she had a think, then she thought some more, and she came up with another plan. And this is what she did. Hmm, now then. Hey, Mish. Hey, Mish. Come on, I'm going to put the nice sandwiches in here. And then... You're going to guard the sandwiches, is all that all right? Is that okay, Hamish? 
not really. So oh, you don't want to go in the basket. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're not frightened of seagulls. You'll be fine. So she put she put Hamish into the basket. <laughs> and what happened next? Oh, let's just see, shall we? Now, oh, do you know what happened? The seagulls were not scared of Hamish at all. And they climbed into the basket and Hamish just hid and didn't look. They climbed into the basket and ate the lunch anyway. Mm, yummy, mm, yummy, 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 yummy. And then they flew away. So they brought Hamish back to the house and Hamish, that didn't work really. And Hamish just said, I don't know what's got into you. What were you thinking sending me down the basket? Oh, sorry, Hamish, I'm sorry. I thought that that would work. After that, Mrs. Grinlin said, that's it. I don't know what to do next. And she had a really big think and she came up with an ingenious plan. And this is what it was. She got her sandwich. Mmm, nice sandwich, Mr. Grinnin. Oh, ham and salad, his favourite. And she's got some hot mustard. Mmm, Mr. Grinnin loves mustard, but I don't think seagulls do like mustard. Not one bit. She put the mustard into the sandwich. That will stop them. She put the sandwich into the basket. Hamish, you can go. Go and sit by the fire and have a rest. Put the sandwich into the basket and sent the basket down the wire all the way to the night house. And this is what happened. Oh, where are those seagulls? Is the seagull coming? Oh, seagulls coming to have some more delicious lunch. Oh, it's this basket again. I know it's some delicious lunch in here. Mm, in no end. And then, <gasps> yuck! That's disgusting, he said. Oh no, it's got mustard in it. I do not like mustard. I'm going off to find some fish and chips somewhere else. And he flew off. Let's see what happened. Should we look in the book? They do not look happy, do they? They do not like mustard. Nope. Oh, that's the picture. Showed you the wrong picture. He's saying, yuck. And they're flying off and they're dropping the sandwich into the sea. And do you know what happened then? They never came back to that basket. And finally, Mr. Grinling got his lunch. There he is, eating his delicious lunch. Yummy, yum. Hmm. So, we can have a picnic now. Just like Mr. Grinling. We can put our picnic rug out. We can have Hamish. We can have our light boat, lighthouse. No, you can't. Not you. You're not coming into the picnic. Off you go, Seagull. You can't come to the picnic. Put the boat there. Oh, look, we have our picnic. We have a sandwich. Oh, a nice cake. A carrot. Healthy carrot. Oh, an apple. Oh, half a chocolate brownie. I'm sure that was a whole chocolate brownie earlier. We're running out of cakes and brownies in our house. Oh, a nice banana. Mm. And oh, some fish for Hamish, there you are. Oh, and a nice satsuma. Mm, I'm going to enjoy that. Mm, yummy, yummy. So you can make a picnic at home, can't you? Even if you can't go out, you can get some toys and you can invite them to your picnic and you can find some food. You can sit in your kitchen or maybe mummy might even let you have a picnic in your bedroom or on the floor somewhere in your house and you can have a picnic at home just like us okay bye bye thank you for listening bye bye